So, here we go. Our final, final event of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. And it is the McLaren Challenge. Of course it is. So choose between the two McLarens in this sprint through Autumn Crossing. You'll have to crack the top three if you want to earn a medal in this tough challenge. So pretty quick race, just race through Autumn Crossing. Shouldn't take too long. And we have, of course, the two McLaren F1s to choose from. And since I've driven the LM in the last two events, well, it's only fitting that I use the, uh, the base F1 for this one. So here we go. This is the final Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 events. I, yay. Once we win this, we've completed the game. <clears throat> so, we have five standards and three LMs. All right. So we got Jack, Andros, Terror, Mercury, Ewan, and Razor. So, uh... Here we go. <clears throat> or, the final race of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 for the Xbox. For the engage. Oh god, some guys didn't want to take the shortcut. Almost led to a massive accident. In fact, he called a very huge accident, but it did not involve Alexander Permat. Oh my god. I stumbled <laughs> with that joke. Alright, anyways. I have the lead! Run away! I kind of wanted to end the, this game with the Hot Pursuit uh, event. Which I probably could have done with if I like did the tournament before the, or after the delivery, but... Considering the last Hot Pursuit event was just a time trial... I'm like, well... That's really anticlimactic. You know what else is going to be anticlimactic? This. You know why? No police. Do you know what I'm a master of? Anticlimax. I mean, to be fair, this is the hardest this game has been. It's still not as hard as the PS2 version. Like, this this game is still way easier than the PS2 version. But. But. <clears throat> you know. Seacrest Tour, but not really. Yeah, now I have to buy all the shits. I'm gonna do like one more like segment of the game after I finish this, just to show off all like the the content that I haven't drip uh played with yet. Opsu 2010 again, same. Unfortunately I'm several games away from that. Especially if I keep detouring like this and do alternate versions. Also, that's right, this little uh, trilogy of uh, alternate versions of Need for Speeds I've already played is coming to a close here. Because I did PC High Stakes, PC Porsche Unleashed, and now Xbox uh, Hot Pursuit 2. And across the line, boy, that was a tough race, let me tell you. That was a tough race. It wasn't a tough race. <laughs> None of the LMs could keep up. It's fucking GG losers. My top speed was tw at least 20 higher than the next closest person. Hello, uh... I don't know how to pronounce your name. It's just a lot, a lot of letters and I can't separate them into words. Hey, we have th over 3 million NFS points. Yay! You have been awarded the gold True Racer medal. finishes inside the shortcut. Well, that's exactly what I did. We got our final gold medal of the game. Oh, fuck. Did it. And there we go. Just like the hop suit. Championship mode completes. We did it. We're the champion. That means the game is complete. Oh, boy. Same res, different. Oh, it's res. Okay, I didn't realize that was you. Didn't realize you changed your name. Okay. So yeah, championship mode complete. Everything is gold. Just like top suit modes now. 
I'm gonna stop this here, and then we'll do, gonna do one more last little thing with this game. Just kind of take a look at all the other stuff that's in this game that we haven't seen yet. And I'm going to do it on a separate recording as well. Alright, so... Looking, looking at our stats here, uh, 33 Hot Pursuit gold medals. 33 championship gold medals. A one... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One thing's arrested eight times. Top speed, 193. Average speed, 109. Rewards unlocked, zero. <laughs> let's fix that. Let's unlock rewards. So let's go to single challenge. Uh, just single race, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. And uh, actually, before I unlock the tracks, I want to unlock the cars. So that's what we're going to do. So we have a lot of cars to unlock because we don't unlock anything through actually just playing the game. We, we have to spend points, and uh, what I'm going to do is, the, we've seen all these cars. Yeah, all, all these, we've driven all these, it's whatever. I'm not going to focus on unlocking these yet. What we are going to unlock first is um, these things. So, just like in the PS2 version, every car, I think every car, at least almost every car has an NFS edition of them. So we're going to unlock this. Spend 4,000 of my 3 million, 3.2 million points. This is the Need for Speed edition of the Lotus Elise. It offers improved acceleration and a slightly higher top speed. Yeah, that's probably all I was going to say. So yeah, slightly upgraded versions of the cars with a special color. And we're just going to unlock all of these. Here's the Vauxhall VX220. Nice purple. Opal Speedster in a purplier purple. Big old TS50. Not a fan of that blue, though. Base AMG, 10,000 points. A lot of these are purple. Blue and purple. It seems to be the common color for these. NFS editions. Ooh, this one has a two-tone. Ooh, this one actually has stripes. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fucker stole manifest points. Here's the Cobra R. It's a gloss red with a little bit of flame graphics. Very gloss, yes. Okay. This Corvette has some decals. Not good decals, but some. Green Viper. It's the... The grass snack. I don't know. Eco-friendly snack. You can tell because it's green. Sploida. 911 Turbo. Of course, as we get into the higher tier of cars, they're more expensive. This one, 60,000 points for the V12 Vanquish. Ferrari. Oh, that is a nice red on the Diablo. That is fucking blood red. Holy shit. I like that. <clears throat> I like that a lot. That looks real nice. <laughs> hey, look, a Carrera, Porsche Carrera GT and not silver or gray. It's blue. Richie Lago and kind of a pale ish purple. CLK GTR, blue. Unsurprising. F50. At redder than the reddest red. Also, it's two-tone. Ooh, a purple F1. Actually, purple and blue two-tone F1. What about the LM? It's melon-ish. I don't know. all I got. So there's all the NFS edition cars. I will take some for a stroll, I guess, but since that costs a lot fewer points than I was expecting, let's just go ahead and unlock all the other cars. Just uh, try to quickly go through this. Almost like a TVR car, almost. Like how the XKR was one of like the default unlocked cars. 
well as the M5. The Zate. Actually, was there an NFS edition of the Z8? Oh, whoops. I fucked. I fucked it up. Mustang was already unlocked. That's what I thought. I'm like, wait, I didn't see the Z8. I accidentally started the race. It's fine. It's just a little time lost. Quit race. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> So we're at the Mustang. Now the Corvette. Snack. Oh, almost actually started the race again. But I had a five fifty about to get there. So yeah, this is definitely a very different unlock system compared to the PS2 version. Just a bit, you know. Eighty-five thousand, eighty thousand, eighty grand, eighty-five thousand. Okay, that should be all the cars unlocked now. Let me just scroll through, make sure I didn't miss any. Also, I think my the game just kind of freaked out there. By the game, I mean. The video signal. Alright, everything, all the cars are unlocked. Yeah, kind of thunder. A little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock all the tracks, which includes unlocking the reverse version of the track, as well as the mirrored version, and the mirrored reverse version. So there are mirrored versions. Backwards mirrored. Co fucking regular Coastal Parklands is the only track that's actually unlocked at the start. This looks a lot like the fucking uh the the second track from the original Ridge Racer. Like this map looks almost exactly like it. Please tell me I'm not the only one that sees this. That is some fucking Ridge Racer ass shit right there. Ridge Racer! Like, holy fuck. That's kind of amazing. I'm actually curious to see if I even have enough points to unlock all these. Ooh, Island Outskirts. 20,000 points. Per layout. It's like these are long tracks or something. Uh, they didn't, Lemon. That was probably, like, just, like, developer inspiration. It's like, hey. It's like, you know what we really like? Need for Speed. You know what? We're gonna sneak into our game a Need for Speed style map. It's kind of like that, um... Like how in Moto Racer 2, it has a track with the exact same map as a high speed ring <laughs> from Gran Turismo and fucking Star Wars Pod Racer there was like a uh, there was there's a track that had the same map as Laguna Seca which was also really fucking cool I think Autumn Crossing is our final track unlock it is not wine country is actually no cuz we still have to do the point to point okay I'm going to shut up, because obviously I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, oh. Okay, apparently Calypso Coast was one, also one of the other default unlocks. Running out of points here. Down to 76,000, and everything is unlocked. Alright, we've unlocked all the tracks. Now, there's one more thing I need to check. I want to check for unlocks, and that is police cars. <clears throat> they are locked, okay. I'll have to unlock police. Oh, I don't know if I have enough points for these. I definitely don't. So we have the Crown Vic. Yeah, I don't have enough points to unlock. Oh, well. I'm not really worried about that, cause just because it's like, whatever. I'm not grinding points. Just to 
unlock these. Although, it wouldn't be difficult at all, to be honest. And to have to do, like, what, the F McLaren F1 delivery, like, twice? Honestly, you know what? I wouldn't mind spending, like, ten minutes just to get the points just to unlock all of these. So, yeah, 10,000, 20, 40, 60, 120, 180. See, so, yeah, I only need 180,000 points. Mm. You know what? Fuck it. B out or B. <laughs> okay, so weather update. Uh, it's grinding money or grinding uh, bank. Not as easy as I thought it was going to be. So fuck it. These are gonna stay locked. I don't care <laughs> enough. So uh, turns out you cannot collect the uh, the the medal prizes more than once for those events. That's cool. Anyways, I was gonna I'll wanna drive at least one NFS car, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a free run. Where? I don't know. Let's let's do it at the long boy. Actually let's do it at the Ridge Racer track. National Forest, here we go. Oh wait, that's reverse. Actually I don't even know which way is for which way is for when we're swab. Wee woo woo woo. Now we'll go this way. Ironically liking Nitro on the Wii. I thought it was an alright game. It was fucking hard and silly, but I thought it was it wasn't a didn't think it was a bad game. I really want to drive the snack, but eh, I don't like that green. I have too many op oh we can drive the blood Diablo, the blood bowl. An eco snack. Fuck the economy. Fuck the world. I forgot about the blood Diablo. So yeah, we're just gonna drive around. I guess I'll give my final thoughts on this, because I don't know. This is kind of a waste of a final segment, really, but whatever. Also free roam mode. I wonder if there are police in this. There probably are. But yeah, that was, uh, this has been Hot Pursuit 2 on the Xbox, um, again, it's not, it's inferior to the PS2 version in most ways, it does some things better than the PS2 version in my opinion, like how it handles police in the game, police chases, um, and yeah, of course this game a lot easier than the PS2 vert. Jin. You know, I only had minor struggles with this at any point, and that was through, like, <laughs> being a bad driver. And, uh... But, yeah. And because I say... Because people say the PS2 version is better, that doesn't automatically mean this version is bad. This version is definitely good. It's it's definitely good. I don't think there's any police here. Okay. Whatever. Um I think that's a common like thing that people assume. It's like, oh well this thing's better, which means that other thing is bad. No, that's not the case. It just means it's not as good. It's still good. Not as good. And uh Yeah, it's still a great game. But yeah, oh, there's a lap done. But I guess... I don't really have a whole lot, really anything else to say. Um, when it comes to like the out, like, basically the sign off for this last play, but uh... Yeah, so I guess that concludes this little trilogy of me playing alternate versions of Need for Speed games that I've already uh, done a let's play for. So like I said, I did uh... PC versions of High Stakes and Porsche Unleashed because 
they were different, especially Porsche. Again, this is, you know, a different game, a different animal to the PS2 version of Hot Pursuit 2, so play that, but there we go. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Okay, I'm going to stop driving here. It's going to, boom, park it. Oh, shit. The arcade version. Shut up, Chris. I'm not doing that. <sighs> I, again, I don't know what else to say. I didn't think this through. I thought there would be more to do for this final segment, but then I realized it's just unlocking the final cars and everything. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, but... That's that. Opposite 2 complete. So, calculator version. That's kind of... It ain't the GameCube version of 05. What makes it bad? Isn't it like the exact same? Is it just poorly optimized? I don't know. Whatever. But, yeah. That's going to be it for Hop Suit 2. Uh, I'm not going to be done with the stream. Stay tuned for everyone watching live. But, for those watching the uh, segmented version of this, hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh... Yeah. I will I'll, I'll see you in the next LP. Whatever and whenever that may be. So uh, th thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.